Hello, and welcome to Thrive Online. My name is Jennifer Dixon, and I'm going to talk to you today about Warrior II, Virabhadrasana B or Virabhadrasana II. This is a really great pose that you'll see in a lot of flow, vinyasa, power type classes. It's great at building heat as well as flexibility in the hips and shoulders. So to get started, we're going to start with the right. We're going to bring our right foot facing forward. Those right toes are facing forward. Right knee is bent. We're working towards a 90 degree angle. If you can't quite get there, that's okay. The left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. So that means it's not reaching forward, it's actually reaching out towards the left. You can check out the outside edge of that left foot and make sure it's going in line with the back part of your mat and you'll know you're in warrior two stance. Now, what you don't want to do is stick the booty out. I see this all the time where the belly is just disengaged and we're collapsing into the low back. So rather than do that, scoop that tailbone down, pretend your pelvis was a bowl of soup or cereal, and you don't want to spill it forward or backwards, right? You want to hold it right in the center. When you do that, you're going to notice that maybe your right knee goes in a little bit more. That's okay. We're opening up that right hip flexor. So if that's really hard to keep your tailbone down and your knee facing towards the pinky toe side of your right foot, take a slightly smaller step and go ahead and rotate that back toe forward ever so slightly. That might be just enough grace, so to speak, for that right inner thigh, right hip flexor, right hip to just open up to get down a little bit lower, working towards 90 degrees. Now, if you've got the mobility in your hips, you've got that back foot parallel, front toes facing forward, tailbones down. Remember, right knee tracking towards the outside edge of that right foot. Your hands are reaching in opposite directions. Now, check it out. You don't want that back arm to just be willy-nilly. And you also don't want it to be further back behind you or over in front of you. You want to be in one between two panes of glass, so one straight line. Your gaze is over that middle finger. Now think about consciously relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. When you do that, did you guys see how my body just sunk a couple of inches? It's a fabulous little cue to help relax your body just a little bit and make your legs work a little bit more. Belly's in, tailbone's down, gaze is over the right middle finger. Here we are in warrior two. Don't forget you have your head reaching straight up so it's neither going towards the front or the back. Let's see this on the other side. Left foot facing forward. Right foot parallel to the back of the mat. Now remember, if these hip flexors are really, really sore and tight, the right toes can be facing forward ever so slightly to help your hips open up. Eventually, your hips are going to be open to the wall on your side. So in this case, my hips are opening up towards the right. Tailbones down, bellies in. Now see how my left knee just collapsed in. This left hip flexor is giving me some grief today. So let's massage it down just a little bit to where it's pointing towards the outside edge of that, that mat. So you're wanting that left knee to trend towards the outer edge of that left foot slash pointing, we're working towards, but it's not ever gonna be there, opening it up to that front left corner of the mat. Belly's in, shoulders down and away from the ears, chest, hips, our headlights are all reaching towards the right here. Right hand, right arm is parallel to the mat behind you. Hand is out straight. This is a long line of energy. That left arm is reaching forward. And again, remember, there's space between this left shoulder and this left ear. So relax it down. The crown of the head is up high and the gaze, your drishti, is right over that left middle finger. Sink down as low as you can keep the integrity of the pose. This is not warrior two. This is low back pain waiting to happen and just no engagement in the belly. So tailbone down, belly's in, spine nice and straight, right leg, back leg is nice and straight, left knee is nice and bent. Here we are in a beautiful warrior two. Virabhadrasana B or Virabhadrasana two. Thank you so much for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope you've had fun, maybe learned something new. Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness and Thrive Online. I can't wait to see you on the mat again soon. Take care.